I'm back for another tutorial. I just got through voting. Okay? Don't boo. Vote. And I was just cleaning up my eyebrows here. Okay? And, um... I put, um, I primed my eyes with this, um, L.A. Girl, um, this is the brown one, or the tan, the tan one, okay, see that? And I used that all over my eyelid and the wall, the whole space there, okay, and the reason I did that is because I am going to be, uh, doing a tutorial on this winter berry, by Coastal Scents. Now the other one you've seen, I've done a uh, a couple on the um, Fall Festival palette, and I got this right along with the Fall Festival. Okay, looks the same. It just says Winterberry palette on the front. Okay, and Coastal Scents, and then it has the ingredients on the back with CoastalScents.com. Okay. And you open this mirror, I mean this palette, get this uh, space out, oh, doo -doo. there we go. And these are the colors that are in that, okay, nice berry colors. And I like it because they're, they're nice, they have a lot of, um, they have quite a few deep, colors as well as light colors so that's what I like about this palette that's what attracted me to the palette and what I'm gonna do is now these are all um, what I would call satin uh, finishes here these are all satin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my um, BH Cosmetics Okay, now I got this uh, uh, last year, last holiday season, okay, and it only cost $9.99 at, um, sorry, um, at uh, Marshalls or Ross. So if you have a Marshalls or Ross around you for the, hol uh, for the holiday season, I suggest that you go check them out because this is a good palette, okay. Uh, the quality is not as good as the... Um, Coastal Scents, okay, but it is a good palette. It's pigmented, it blends well, okay, and um, it's easy to work with. So, this right here is the Smoky Eyes, and they have satin colors in here too, but they also have um, some um, matte colors, okay, and this color right here, okay, these two colors right here appear to be a matte color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, this pink color right here, okay? And I'm going to use that as my transition color. Let me draw you in. So we can get a nice look. Now, the only thing about this, it doesn't have a mirror. Okay, so, but you can see the color come on as soon as you apply it, there's color, okay? Get this color in nice and good and healthy. These brushes, these brushes I bought on Wish for a dollar, okay? These are some really good brushes. I'm going to order some more. The only con about these brushes is the ferrule. They're really loose, okay? So I am going to get my glue gun one of these days. And take all these uh, broken uh, brushes and glue them back together and see how that fares out. Okay, because I, I just hate to throw it away. They pick up good, they apply good, they blend good. They're really good brushes. And it's sad when you have such good brushes and you don't have the, the quality 
uh, the bristles is there, but the, 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 the whole brush itself is cheap. Okay. Can't expect too much for a dollar. Okay, so now that I've got that uh, transition color in there, okay, what I'm going to do is, because I want to really be uh, precise to this palette, okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take, um, let me, I'm looking for a color, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am going to try this color right here for lid, on my lid, okay, I'm going to put that on my lid, and we're going to see how this turns out. Now, I could use my finger, but I don't want that because I want the blend. So I don't want it real deep. So, just thought I'd throw that out there to let you know. See, you can see it. So you can build it up with your brush. And like I said, it's not powdery. Okay. There's no fallout. Because sometimes, even though you get some satin colors, okay, depending on the quality of the formula that it's made up with, it can still be powdery. Okay, so we have like a nice build up right there. There we go. So I'm going to just blend that in with my little transition color back here. There you go. Yeah. Real easy. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is take this deep berry color right here. It comes off like a maroon, a maroonish, maybe burgundy. Okay. And I'm going to put that in my corner area. For right now, just right now. I don't want to, uh, yeah, just blend it a little bit in that corner. Take the other side and do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Just there in that corner. And um, get a little sweep. I'm going to do a little a light sweep. Because this stuff is pigmented. Look at that. Just just that the little sweeps. Okay. So. We did that. Now I am going to take. This pencil like. Um, brush. And I am going to go. In the crease area. With this. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a, a blue color. And it comes off like a blue purple. Okay. Now see you guys are looking at it. It looks blue. So okay. I'm looking at it. I'm going to tell you what it is. It looks blue with purple sparkles. Okay. That's what it is. But anyway. We're going to go in with that. And I'm going to go into the crease. The corner and the crease. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
remind you, I'm not a makeup artist now. Okay. And I'm going to spread it out a little bit with this brush, same brush, because I can do that. That's how, uh, that's how good these brushes are, and that's how easy this eyeshadow is to work with. You don't have to have a heavy hand with it. Just little flicks, few flicks. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is... I am going to take this brush. Now, this brush has a little bit of blue on it, okay, from another palette. And I'm still going to just swirl it in and blend it. Okay. And this is the, but yeah, this is the 217 brush. Okay. Get us a nice blending effect there. Okay. Then I am going to take, I'm going to add a highlight color. Okay. I'm going to add a highlight color and I am going to then blend this highlight color in. Hopefully with this stuff. We'll see how it goes. I told you I'm not a professional. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Okay. We are going to add, uh, okay. Let's add this light pink. Okay, this is the lightest pink in the palette. This color right here is more of a goldish color. Okay, so we're going to go in and see if we can get that on the... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to, you know, blend, you know. There we go. But I got that brow. Got that brow. Bone. There we go. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to see. Oh, yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. So you can see it up close. Okay. You can see it, but it looks like it's blended together. Whew. Okay. I got to clean up my eyebrows because... Uh, this right here, this little bump right here, this is uh, like, it, it's actually a skin tag. I thought it was like a raised mole, but it's actually a skin tag. Because one day, I seen it, it was lifted up at the end. And I'm like, wow. Okay, so I am going to do a video on my skin tag removal. Okay, and it's just for cosmetic purposes. Okay, I want to try to get rid of this one. I really would like to try to get this one on my eye as well okay and I even have a, a nice juicy one under my arm I want to remove so when I raise my arms okay you know but anyway so we're gonna finish this up you know I get the rambling okay so now I want to go in with a hmm might have to go off the grid here okay we're going to go back in with this, uh, this maroon color, okay? This is, you know, it's funny how this is like, I would call it a maroon slash burgundy because it's a little reddish, okay, and a little wine, wineish at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to do it more in the corner. There we go. Yeah, you see that? Y'all see that better than I can. Okay, there we go. Ooh. I had to clean that up. Okay, so we got that berry going. Okay. Got a little berry. Mm-hmm. 
So what I am going to do. By the way, we finished with this palette for right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, let's see. If I can go in with this palette. If I can finish using this uh, BH Cosmetics, okay. Um, nah. Um, okay. We are going to go in. Oh, here it is. We're going to go in with the Fall Festive, okay, because we're going to use this black. Or gunmetal, whatever they want to call it, okay. And I'm going to use the same pencil, okay. Uh, no, excuse me. Same, uh, I'm going to use this pencil like uh, brush, but this black right here. And the reason why I'm using this one is because the one in that other palette is not black enough. And um, the Fall Festive color doesn't have a black, okay. So let's see. I am going to. There we go. Just I'm gonna just deepen that color, that corner. Deepen that corner. Okay, then I'm going to blend it out a little bit with this berry. Okay, then I'm going to go back in. Am I? Actually, I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, and, um, oops, ah, forgot to put the, um, the cover. I like these covers to keep my little palettes nice and neat for as long as I can. It, okay, so then I got my little towel here like I said before it's dry so I'm going to spray it with some water because I hate to waste a hole and clean up the side there we go there Okay, and that is the berry look, and I'm gonna come back with the completed look, okay, and then you can see how it bring uh how it comes together, okay, so I'll be right back back with the finished look. hope you like it. just something different. I thought I'd wear this hair band and yeah really something different okay and this is the final look and you see let me draw in closer to my um eyes see how it all came together okay sub me i'll sub you back leave your comments down below don't forget to thumbs up if you like this look and most of all stay blessed